hey there welcome to one by start uh, this is a uh, next video of OAuth open ID connect series and uh, till now we have seen about the service discovery endpoint client registration authorization code and implicit uh, OAuth 2 dot flows in this video we will see about the uh, resource owner flow Resource owner flow is a simple flow which requires a uh, user has to provide their credentials uh, to the client itself and uh, and this uh, this resource owner flow um, like if you see here like resource owner first provides their password credentials to the client and the client in uh, on behalf of the resource owner client provides the password credentials to the authorization server uh, and uh, once it authenticates it uh, it give a, a, it return back with the access token and optional refresh token. Uh, as we are providing the credentials to the client this has to be used in the trusted first party applications this is the client uh, this is the client which we are using for the resource owner flow uh, uh, like um, uh, for the what client has to be a uh, brand type name should be a password uh, password is for the resource owner flow and uh, there is no redirect URI uh, required for this uh, resource owner flow as like authorization code and implicit flows and uh, as usual like uh, we have our client uh, client id uh, and the secret and everything and the response types whatever it is required so now we'll see the demo so here like uh, once i click the resource owner first time itself a post call is made uh, to the token uh, uh, to the token url which we got it from the service discovery endpoint uh, with 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 the with the actual username and password of the uh, user like you see here like uh, post call grant type will be pass password client id and the correspond secret uh, OAuth secret and, and and you can see that the and actual username and password of the user the scope so while in the authorization code flow and implicit flow we uh, like user has entered the username and password only in the authorization server uh, the client doesn't have doesn't have an information about this username and password but in the resource owner flow uh, the client can have it so that's why uh, this resource owner flow has to be used in the in the in the trusted first party application so once this post call is made to the id token uh, c2 id token your uh, authorization code uh, authorization server will verify first verify the wallet a secret and the username uh, username and the password of the user it's everything is uh, perfect then it will return back with the uh, access token id token and an optional refresh token so i have uh, decoded this access token so as you seen in uh, okay this is the subject and when it is expired who's issuer issued at uh, what is the OAuth client used what is the scopes and similarly this is the id token i'll show a demo using a google OAuth server to see how the access token and id token looks that has more information than what it is present uh, what this connect to id server is provi uh, providing so the that we will see uh, once we uh, see all the concepts uh, of the OAuth and OpenID Connect. Now it's a code walkthrough time. Okay. So as it is the main gate that Java. Uh, so here you can see here uh, I have mounted my resource owner flow that is like password flow in the resource owner flow class. So this resource uh, and the corresponding uh, informations are in the OAuth 2.0 uh, util class and in the resource owner flow. Mm, so here first itself like we'll, we'll provide, we'll build the po uh, post call. So that is type, client ID, secret, uh, username, password, scope. So like suppose if you want to use, uh, basically you need to pass username and password. Uh, suppose if you want to use yours, you just edit in the OAuth 2.0 uh, util class with your username and password. and um, uh, uh, like we are hitting the OAuth server using the Jersey web client, uh, we'll get the post response here. Uh, you can see like a post call is made, and we got the post response. And this response is uh, passed to a password token uh, utility method to get access token ID token, and it is put it in the HTML file. So this is a simple flow. So uh, so I'll repeat like here in the resource owner flow has to be used in the trusted first party application where uh, actual because like actual username and password of the user is used uh, used so we have to be used in the very uh, so we have to use we have to use this flow in very careful that's all about this uh, resource owner flow in the next video we will see about the credentials for flow thanks for watching this video 
please visit 100bytes.com for more tutorials thank you